Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining. It's a pleasure to have you here. We're going to get started in a couple of seconds. Okay. Good As afternoon, I... teacher. Good afternoon. Welcome. Nice to listen to you. Thank you, Ricardo, Jose, and Christian for joining. Okay, it is a pleasure to have you here in class. And it is uh, about 20 seconds before we get started. It is exactly the time to begin. So class, I am so glad that you are here. I am going to start sharing my PPT with you as every day. You are really welcome, okay? So here and here, here and over here. Okay, my agenda is the welcoming. We're going to have a feedback on what we did in the previous class. We continue with the simple present WH questions and placement of adjectives, okay? And here we have the objectives for today. I don't know if, Glenda, are you available so you can help us reading the specific objective and the class objective? Can you do it, Glenda? Hello, Glenda. Hello. Okay, puede ayudarnos a leer el objetivo específico y el objetivo de la clase de hoy. O no está disponible. Sí, estoy disponible. Okay, great, please. Va. B by the by the end of it is class to be learn vocabulary vocabulary for com hubs. Okay. Uh, class class objective to will learn vocabulary for com hubs. Thank you so much, very well. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Remember class that as Glenda help us reading today, as a specific objective, we have this. By the end of the class or today's class, okay? You will learn vocabulary to form common jobs. And the class objective is you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. If you remember, in the previous class, we studied about professions and occupations topic, okay? Now here, Wilfredo, are you available? Christian Wilfredo? Hello. Sí, buenas teacher. Hello, would you help me reading, please, about homeworks and evaluations? This is slide. Okay, eh, tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Puede adelantar contenido. Todas las tareas y los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes a la, a la medianoche ya que ese registro es enviado a INSAFOR semanalmente. Material de apoyo será compartido al criterio del profesor en formato digital. Thank you so much. So we are aware because you are in module two, but it is necessary to remind you about this. Es necesario recordarle sobre esta situación. I give it up for the students who are already done with the work in the platform, with the homeworks, with the evaluations, with the exams, okay? Congratulations. And for the others, I cordially invite you to finish. Why? Because we are about to finish the classes. Is that okay? So it is necessary to have your works in the platform the homeworks and the midterm test and the final test done, okay? Thank you so much. And then we have here, you see, week number four, section five and the final test, okay? So it is necessary to go over that. And you know the camera's on. 
the microphone off unless you are told not to do so. I'm going to call your names to take your attendance. I expect as every day, today is not going to be the exception. You are going to have your full name in the camera, your user, uh, participation active. We have available the chat via Zoom and via WhatsApp. And as we have done every day, okay, respect above all. And here is part of what uh, Christian Wilfredo was helping us to read. You need to work on the platform in order to get your diploma. And you need to get connected. It is expected, the ideal 120 minutes because 60 minutes our class is one. We have two every every day that we meet, 120, yeah? And then here we go. This is the feedback. If you remember class, um, in the previous class, we were working on our dream house and you were describing the rooms and the items that your dreams house have, yes? And we were working also in the discussion boxes uh, in the different spaces in the platform, right? And here we began with what do you do in the word pa power jobs. This was the introduction that we had last class. We were together and we were working with this professions and occupations. In other words, jobs, cashier, cook or chef, synonyms, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress, right? And we were working with the completion of some exercises over here. And we have here for today, the simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital, what do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. How do you like it? Te gusta. Que tanto te gusta? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel, what does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant, what do they do? They are wait waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. Sometimes we are working in a place that we don't like too much, right? So we say, I, I hate it. Why? Because it is very hot. There is no air conditioning. Probably that is why you hate it. Okay. And then complete the convers these conversations, then practice with a partner. What does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. Then the missing word, where does she? Mm -hmm. It. So since we say it's difficult, but she loves it. Okay. So. How does she like it? Yes? Now, if the people who are here, let me see who were in, with me in the previous class. Mm. Let me see. Emperatriz was here. No. And Ricardo, were you here in the previous class? Do you teacher. remember? Yes, yes you teacher. were here. Okay, so uh, let's see in the manual. Okay, we're going to start. Oops, I was here. Here we have. Please look for page 52, unit 8 in your manual. And here we're going to be working, okay? Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. Using this, Examples. So we say in conversation one class, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. And then what do we need to write in there? How 
does she like it? How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it, okay? Le gusta, le agrada. ¿Qué piensa de él? It's difficult, but she loves it, okay? Now, in number two, what do you think the missing words are? Does your brother, blah, blah. But we need one at the beginning. Which is the missing word at the beginning? Where, what, or how? Where. Where. Very well, because we're asking for a place. Where. Where does your brother? The missing word? Where. Work very well. Where does your brother work? At the airport. He's a pilot. Oh. Does he? Blah, blah. Which is the first missing word? The WH missing word. Is it where, what, or how? How. Very well. How? How does he? We. Oui. <laughs> How? How does he? Uh, like. Like. Very like. well. Congrats. How does he like it? He, he doesn't really like it. En realidad no le gusta. No le agrada. Okay. Then, number three. Do your parents blah, blah their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. So, which is the wow. missing word? Where, what, or wow. how? How. Where? How. Excellent. Very well. How do your parents? Like. Very well. Like their jobs. Oh, I guess they like them. I <laughs> guess. Supongo, me imagino. I don't remember. Well, excellent, very well, because it is about a place. Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? In an office in the city. And number four. How? How do you? Oh, let me see. What do you oh, do that. or where? What? 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 What did you do? But here we have another space. So probably the question is where? Where do you work? And then the person says, I'm a student. I see. Ah, ya veo. Yeah. Do you? Your classes. It is about a place. Ah, no, but let's check the answer. They are good. I like them a lot. So here in letter A should be, where do you, what do you, or how do you? How do you? Yes, very well. How do you? Do you like? Like your classes. They are good. I like them a lot, okay? Very well. So here, let me see. Christian and Emperatriz, would you read conversation number one, please? Okay. Uh, Christian, you are okay. A, and Emperatriz, you are letter B. Okay. Okay. Uh, what does your sister do? My sister, she, she's a nurse. Uh, how does she like? She like like it. Like it. How does she like, like it? Like it. Mm -hmm. she like it. It's difficult, but she loves it. She loves it very well. Thank she you. It. Now let's listen to Glenda 
And I don't know if Ricardo is available. No, because he is uh, in the in the bus. And Chris is here. One, two. Okay. So um, you cannot read, right, Ricardo? No puede leer porque ven el bus. So, see, Glenda is going to read with Christian. Eh, estamos leyendo con empregatriz, teacher. Sí, pero como ya, ya terminaron y necesito que alguien me le ayude a Glenda. Ah, ok, ok. okay. Mm -hmm. Por eso. Eso sería la número dos. Te ayudo si quiere, teacher. Ahí tal vez me, me Ah, entiendo. ok, ok, ok. Sí, yo porque creí que no podía ver el, 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 la conversación. Aquí voy. Ok, now number two. Okay, la conversación uh, dos. A o B. You are A, Ricardo. And Glenda is B. Ok. How do you parents like her Joyce? Um, at the airport, she a uh, pilot. I don't remember, remember where do you they go? She she does really like it. Aquí hubo un problema porque Ricardo estaba leyendo la conversación 3 y Glenda la 2. La 2 era, vamos ¿verdad? A, sí, vamos a hacer repeat. Okay. El, okay. El, comienza Ricardo la conversación 2, ustedes A y Glenda es B. Ok, 1, 2, 3. Where does your brother for At the airport, she... Mm -hmm. She, she is a pilot. Oh, oh, what? Oh, how, how do he like it? She, he, he does reality like it. Okay, he doesn't really like it. He does reality, reality no. like it. Reality, no. He doesn't really. He doesn't mm -hmm. really like it. He he does really like it. Really, really. Ah, uh -huh. really, not really. Really, okay. very well. Sí. Now number three. Christian Wilfredo and Emperatriz. Emperatriz, you are A. Christian Wilfredo, you are B. Eh, wow. Teacher, me voy a leer yo ahora. Ya vamos a, usted nos va a ayudar en el número cuatro, ¿sí? Ok. okay. Es que vamos mm. conversación por conversación. Ok. Ok. do you parents like their, their homes? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember where do you work. In a office in the city. Okay, very well. Now, Stanley, you are uh, letter A and maybe Glenda, you are letter B in conversation number four. Okay. Okay. Where do you work? Young student. I see. How do you like your class? They are good. I, I, li I like them a lot. Okay, very well. So what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Where does your brother work? At the airport. He's a pilot. Oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. He doesn't really like it. How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember where do, do, where do they work? In an office in the city. Where do you work? I'm a student. Oh, I see. How do you like your classes? They're good. I like them a lot. And here you have. Uh, 
I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. So you are going to practice these four conversations, okay? Van a practicar estas cuatro conversaciones en los breakout rooms. Y luego van a hacer preguntas sobre estas imágenes que ven acá. Ben, Claudia, and uh, Vicky, and Owen. For example, where does Ben work? He works in... Where do you think Ben works? He works in... In this case, in a restaurant. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. So later you are going to ask, where does Claudia work? She works in blah, blah, blah. Where does Vicky and Owen work? They work in blah, blah, blah. And you analyze the picture and you say where they work, okay? And you practice this for conversations. Is that okay? We are at page 52. ¿Sí comprendimos la actividad? Yes? Yes. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, okay? Okay, join your groups and begin the speaking practice. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Glenda and Christian Wilfredo. He is your partner, okay? Okay. Okay, Emperatriz, are you available? Stanley is waiting for you. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Solo busco ahorita la conversación. Sí, okay. okay. Or if you, uh, but you have the answers. Yes, Stanley. Yes, okay. Sí tiene la respuesta, ¿verdad, Stanley? Sí, sí, no, teacher. Es que la estoy pre, eh, con... Compartiendo para que le tomen una screenshot. Sí, sí, aquí las tengo ya. Ok, let's get started. You take turns, ok? Here you are, Ricardo, Emperatriz, and Stanley. Ok. Eh... 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 Este, pero si quiere ahí practiquémosla así. Como usted la tiene ahí, ¿verdad? Vaya, se las comparto. Sí, ahorita. Se las comparto, ah, okay. solo está cargando acá para que se les facilite. Ok. okay. okay. Ignore me, yo no estoy aquí. Ignore me. Ok, ok. <risa> Vaya, eh, era ver lo que estaban haciendo en la imagen. No sé si, vaya, la primera la teníamos, va. Where does Ben work? ¿Qué es la primera? ¿Qué? Ajá. Sería, uh -huh, eso, la primera. Uh, que trabaja como en restaurante. Ajá, va, y la segunda es, eh, where does eh, Claudia work? Eh... Sería, sería she he she, she were in a hospital ajá chico hospital y she were in a 
en una tienda trabajan, era un... Ajá, la otra, la tercera es eh, Vicky and Owen. Ajá. Eh, with does Vicky and Owen. Where does... Me voy a ir al otro equipo Owen. que me necesitan allá. Okay, Owen. vaya. Sería... ¿Cuál imagen quieren? Hola. ¿Cuál imagen quieren? Ya la compartió el teacher. Está ah, ahí. ah aquí, vaya, perfecto. aquí la tenemos ahorita, teacher, compartiendo. Okay. ok, perfecto. Ya solo falta que lea el compañero. Quieren eh, con alguien, me dicen para, para, para leer. No sé si con, con Stanley o con, con la doc. Está, está bien. Eh, eh, pues dale con la letra A y okay. pues yo con la B. Ok. What, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Where does your brother go? At the airport. He's a pilot. Oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Number three. Okay. Yes. How, how do you parents like their joys? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't, I don't remember where do they go. In a office in the city. Number four, where do you go? I'm a student. I say, how do you like your class? They're good, I like them a lot. Okay. La otra actividad era de hacer preguntas de las imágenes de, ah, de abajo, sí, sí. Pero, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, correct. Vamos a buscarla. Teacher, ¿será que nos comparte la imagen de las imágenes? Porque esa no, yo no la tengo. Las para imágenes de las eso. imágenes. Eh, ¿Vía WhatsApp o aquí le van a tomar usted que captura? ¿Cómo lo quieren? Aquí le eh, toma captura. Ajá. Y Vaya, ya luego. Para que, ajá. Bueno, acá tenemos. Aquí. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, my pleasure. Mm -hmm.
venir, a ver. Okay, did you finish uh, building the three questions about Owen? Ya, yeah, teacher. Ya, ya te construyeron las preguntas. Sí. Sí, vamos. Ok, me gustaría escucharles practicar. Vaya, eh, la primera imagen. Where does okay. Ben work? Eh, he work in a restaurant. Okay. Eh, two. Eh, where does Claudia work? She work in hospital. Eh, three. Eh, where does Vicky and Owen, uh, Owen work? They are in the in a store. Um, the only thing is that where do Vicky and Owen do? Well, because it is plural to people. Where do Vicky and yeah. Owen work? They work yeah. in a store. They work in a store. They they, they go. They, they work, work in a store. Store. They go. Mm. They work. In a, in, a a a, in a store. They call a store. In a store. Here. Where do Vicky and Owen work? Okay. The answer is they work. They go in a store. They go in yes. a store. Mm -hmm. We use la... do because it is to people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here in number in number two, the second picture. We a have a where. Uh huh. Do... No. Where does because where it does... is Claudia oh, only yeah. one person. Where does Claudia oh, work? Yes. yes, that's correct. You have it correct. Lo tienen correcto, por eso no se los mencioné. Porque okay. ya solo el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Ok. And y ella es... She, she works... She in, in, in a hospital. Excellent. In, in a hospital. hospital. In a hospital. Very she, well. She is work... She, she, no, she is work, no. She works in a hospital, ¿ok? She... She, she works in a hospital. In, in a hospital, hospital. yes. Where does Ben work? He works in a restaurant. Where does Claudia work? She works in a hospital. Where do Vicky and Owen work? They work in a store. In a store. They work in a store. In a store. Okay, now I would like to listen to you practicing Okay, these conversations. Okay, Christian and Glenda, read conversation okay. one and two, please. Okay. Uh, Glenda, sería yo el A o usted el B. Okay. What, what does your sister do? My sister, she, she is a nurse. How, how does she like, she like it? It's Difficult, but, but she love it. Okay, uh, la, la segunda. Uh, okay. Where does your brother work? At the airport. She, she is a pilot. Oh, how does he like it? He he does really like it. Okay, Glenda, okay. repeat after me. He doesn't. He doesn't. Really. Really. Like it. Like it. Okay, now conversation three and four. Continue. Okay, la, la tercera. How do you parent like their jobs? Oh. I get they like them. I I don't remember where 
do they work? In the office, in the site, in the city. Okay, in uh, cuatro. Uh, where do you work? A young student. I see you, do you like your classes? They, they good. I like them a lot. Okay. okay, they are good. I like them a lot, very well. So let's return because the other group, I think they are done, okay? Let's get back to the main session room. You finished the practice, right, Emperatriz and Ricardo? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's wait for the others. Stanley and Glenda. They will be here in 15 seconds. Are you, uh, are you going to have uh, the day off on Friday? El viernes lo van a tener libre, ¿verdad? Because of the national holiday. Yes? Yes. Okay. There is no excuse to avoid working in the platform. Así es que no hay excusa para no terminar el trabajo en la plataforma para quienes me lo deben, ¿ok? Ok. So, but you are done, Mr. Christian Wilfredo. Ok, class. Here we go. Let's continue. And we're going to continue working with jobs and occupations. Yeah? Correct. So here we have this conversation. That's exciting. The conversation is between Richard and Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. How do you like it? ¿Qué te parece? ¿Qué opinas de él? ¿Te gusta? Okay. It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now. You know, that's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, one more time. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are the things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now. You know, that's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Here, class, we are working at page 53, okay? And I need you to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms and you switch roles. But I want you to pay attention to Stephanie. It's great. The students are terrific. Terrific means good, awesome, excellent, great. Because it is a positive adjective, but horrible or terrifying are not good, but terrific means excellent, okay? Before we go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Stanley Lira, are you here? Are you there? Are you yes. somewhere? Okay, you are going to read Richard and let's see. Emperatriz, maybe you read Stephanie. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, please. Okay. Hey, Emperatriz, I hear you had a new job. Yes, I am teaching much. I Stanley. At Lincoln High School. I think 
Tiningo High School. <laughs> How do you like it? It's great. The study are terrific. 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 How are these? Why, why do? Not bad. I'm fire firefighters now, you know. That's exciting. 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 Yes, but it's very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay. It's dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, okay please repeat after me. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. <laughs> I hear you have a new job. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math. Yes, yes I'm teaching math. At Lincoln High School. I at Lincoln, Lincoln High, School. High School. How do you like it? I How do you like, like it? it? It's great. It's, it's great. great. The it's students great. are terrific. They How are things with you? How are things with you? With you? Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad. I'm a firefighter now. I'm, I'm a firefighter fire now. You know? You know? You know. No. You know. No. That's exciting. That's, That's exciting. exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. Yes, yes but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes, and sometimes, sometimes it's dangerous. It's dangerous. dangerous. Okay, now you go to the breakout rooms and you practice this conversation, okay? And then you, okay, we're going to go over this exercise, but later on. Okay, so please join your groups. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups. Cristian, ¿dónde está Cristian? En el otro, ah. Yeah. Uh, the, the image for this conversation. Yes, yes. esa es la que yes. quiere. Por acá yes. la tengo. Okay, over here. Un segundo. Okay, right now. Okay, there you are. You have it via WhatsApp, okay? Okay. okay great. Ya la tiene, Yolanda. Ya. Y ahora te... Yo empiezo primero, eh, Richard y usted, Stephanie. Y después okay. cambiamos. Okay. The day, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am taking what a Lincoln High School. How do you like? It is great. The student at terrific. 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 
Terrific. Terrific. Yes. Terrific. Terrific. How are how are in the, with you? Not bad. Um fire fighting no you firefighter. 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 Fire no. You knock. Uh huh. That exciting. 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 That exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay. Ahí Ahora, cambiamos. Okay. Uh -huh. empiezo. Hey, Stephanie, I get you a new job. Yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like? How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are doing with you? No bad. I am fire, 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 fire. fire. No, uh -huh. you work. That exciting. Yes, but it's very, it's very stressful. It's a full hop, and sometimes it's a dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. Ahí estamos. Otra vez. Lo repetimos. Bye. Okay, um, listen, listen, listen to me. Okay. Listen to the teacher, please. Okay, repeat after me, class. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, hey Stephanie. Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. I hear I you hear have, have a, a new, a new job. job. No, job. 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 A new job. A new job. Yes, I'm teaching math. Yes, yes, I'm teaching, I'm math. teaching math. At Lincoln High School. At, At Lincoln, Lincoln High, School. High School. How do you like it? How do I you like, do like it? it? It's great. It's, it's great. great. The students are terrific. The, the students, students are terrific. Terrific. How are things with you? How are things? How, how are things with you? Not bad. Not no bad. bad. I'm a firefighter now. I'm I, a firefighter fire 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 now. Fire new. Now. 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 That's exciting. That's exciting. That's exciting. Yes. 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 But it's a very stressful job. But a very stressful job. Yes. Stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. And sometimes, and sometimes it's dangerous. dangerous. Very well. Okay. But job. Remember job. Job. Sometimes. Yes. Dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah, danger, stressful danger, job. Dangerous. A stressful job. A stress, a stressful job. Fire fighter. Fire fire. Fire fire. Fire fighter. Fire fighter. Yeah, that's it, Wilfredo. Fire fire. Fire fire. Yes, firefighter. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. Ok, practice uh, one more time, both of you, ok? Practíquenlo una vez más en lo que verifico los otros chicos, ok? Ok. okay. No. Teacher Mike. Teacher Mike. Math. 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 Is the Math. short form for mathematics. Yes, I'm teaching math at I Lincoln math. High School. I teach her math. Yes. 
Matt. 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 Okay, aprendí. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, finish the practice? Yes. 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 Okay, let's return. Thank you for the active participation. Okay, Christian and Glenda are still practicing the last time. Let's wait for them in five seconds. They will be here. Okay, class, let's continue. Now I want you to pay close attention. I need your eyes on the screen. It is loading my screen and here we go. We're going to write, okay? What, listen and what do these women think of their jobs? Write the correct adjective. Look at their expressions and tell me, uh, this is boring, right? She says that it is boring. Look at number two. What do you think this woman think about her job? Is it nice? Is it interesting? Boring, amazing, what do you think? ¿Qué creen que piensa ella de su empleo? Vean en la carita. Nice, great, terrific, amazing. It is good, okay? Ah, but we say very well. Very, está feliz. Ah, uh, yeah, she's happy, so? She like it, we say it's a good, let's say, it is good, yeah? And then look at her. She is a singer. Se ve triste. Okay, probably her job is sad because she's singing a sad song. Uh -huh. Probablemente está cantando una canción triste, ¿verdad? And look at this woman. She's a pilot or co-pilot. What do you think she is her opinion about her job? Stressful, interesting. Uh, dangerous, interesting, interesting. Okay. interesting, interesting, very well, okay, and now we continue with the placement of adjectives, okay, a firefighter's job is dangerous, a doctor's job is stressful, adjective plus noun, a firefighter has a dangerous job, a doctor has a stressful job. But now I think we're going to watch something in the platform. And let me see because it is about jobs. Mm, okay, hold it. I'm going to look for it over here. And by the way, I'm going to call your names to take your attendance, okay? Are you ready? This is absent. Let's see. Ana Margarita is absent. We. Oui. Okay. Antonio de Jesús Quintanilla Padilla is absent. Uh, Carlos Luis Quintanilla Aguilar. Is absent today. Christian Wilfredo. Present. Over here. Emperatriz. Present. Present. Fatima absent. Let's see. Fernando Antonio is absent. Glenda. Present teacher. Here. Okay. 
Jennifer is absent. Jose Francisco Guzman is absent. Juan Antonio is absent. Luis Audiel is absent. Naomi is absent. Ricardo Jose Flores Rivera. I hear this. I hear. Thank you. Stanley Lira. I hear teacher. Thank you. Walter is absent and Jasmine is absent. Okay. As I promised, I'm going to share with you. Okay, probably you have seen it, but we already studied this. But as a general feedback, yes, let me see. Okay. Thank you for telling us, Ricardo, okay, that you are still on your way home. Todavía va de camino a la casa. So here we go, class. If you remember, yeah, we were working in this uh, video, and here I have that. This is the proof. I'm a student. I am a mother, she's an artist, okay? You already worked this information, but in order to recall it and in order to listen to the pronunciation of the different professions and occupations, we're going to have this short feedback, okay? Let's listen. Oh my gosh. What's going on with internet? It's okay. Okay, let me see what's going on here. This is still... Maybe I have the... Okay, finally. Okay, now I'm going to share it with you. Maybe it is kind of unstable, the, the internet. But here we go, we're going to listen. For common jobs, additionally, You'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. She's a doctor. 3. She's a nurse. 4. He's a pilot. 5. She's a flight attendant. 6. He's a musician. 7. She's a singer. 8. She's a judge. 9. He's a police officer. 10. He's a lawyer. 11. He's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. Now let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. 
works at night writes tickets now we want to connect the job to places and activities let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own a doctor works in a hospital this is place a doctor works hard this is an activity a cashier works in a store cashier works in a store this is a place a cashier handles money this is an activity now I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given after you finish this activity please share your work in our discussion forums okay and this is what you did in the last class do you remember yes because yes. I have here the proof okay and then we continue with the next part this is the knowledge test that some of you are already done yes and here you have to see the picture and then you answer what's his job he's a receptionist because it is he his job what's her job she's a doctor what's her job she is a nurse okay nurse doctor receptionist that is the proof and then here you have to type the answer what's his job his job is about a boy about a man what's her job about the lady and you write here similar to this one he's a in this case a pilot she's a flight attendant following the structure okay siguiendo la estructura que nos presentan en el modelo en el ejemplo sí and then here we continue and we have by the end of this class you will learn to sound natural when asking simple present questions okay and here let's analyze and listen please let's pay close attention hi everyone in this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present wh questions native english speakers reduce or omit many different words this is the reason why you may not understand the program on tv even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing this is a big pronunciation topic however in this class we will talk about the reduction of do and does pronunciation reduction of do and does listen and practice notice the reduction of do and does where do you work what do you do where does he work what does he do where do they work what do they do if we analyze the first example where do you work if you notice do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom essentially what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words this is called linking in English so when that happens the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work as I mentioned this is a very big pronunciation topic which you learn by listening carefully and repeating so let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does so that you can have a better idea where do you work where do you work where does he work where does he work where do they work where do they work what do you do what do you do what does he do what does he do what do they do what do they do now I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English and notice the reduction of do and does do 
Okay. Now you are going to read. Okay. Where do you work? Hello. Please repeat after me. Where do you work? Where, Where did you, do work? you work? Where do you work? Where did you work? Where do you work? Where, Where do you work? You work? Where do you work? Where did you go? Where, you work? Where does he work? Where does, Where he, does, he, work? does he work? Where does he work? Where, Where does, he does, does he work? Does he work? Does he work? Does, does he work? He work? Does does he work? work? Where do they work? Where, Where do they work? Do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do you work? Where do they work? What do you What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What does she do? What does she do? Aquí suena como she porque se unen, verdad? What does she do? What does she do? What do they do? What, what do they do? What do they do? What, what, do, what, do, what do, they do they do? What do they do? What do they do? What do, what do, they, do? What do they do? Okay, well. And now here we continue. Where is it? With this one. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form WH question using the simple present tense. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. And then, here we go. This is what we already studied. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. 
Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, over here nobody has written yet. Acá no han escrito todavía. Okay, no han hecho las preguntas ni las respuestas. No. Hello. No, teacher. Anybody no, there? No, teacher. Alguien por ahí? Okay, vamos a escribir tres preguntas y tres respuestas. Acá okay. añade una publicación. If uh, we may uh, build question, let's do it as a brainstorm, okay? Hagámoslo como lluvia de ideas. Y de, stay... esa, de, de esa imagen, teacher. Sí, ahí en esa box, en esa, en esa ah, sección. De, esa ya la habíamos hecho, teacher. Ya pero no me, pero las cargaron porque no me aparece nada. No, yo le escribí el cuaderno. No, teacher. tienen que, ah, hoy me las tienen que pasar para acá porque si yo me acuerdo que las habíamos hecho, pero no las ingresaron. Esas que ya hicieron les va a quedar como tarea hoy después de la clase. Mire, todavía no hay publicaciones en este tema. Usted hace clic acá, ya sabe, ¿verdad? Escribe esas oraciones y las ingresa. Sí, ya me parecía extraño, pero acá, mire, todavía no hay publicaciones en este tema. Uy, dije, Ay, no lo trabajo, pero sí, lo, ya las hicieron, ¿verdad? Solo les falta agregarlas. ¿Está ok? Ok, bueno, okay. continuamos. Y acá tienen el Knowledge Test, que me imagino ya lo completaron la mayoría. Después voy a revisar. And then here, by the end of this class, you will learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and adjective plus noun. Acá en esencia es, los adjetivos en inglés no se pluralizan. Es el mismo. Pretty, pretty girl. Pretty girls, chica bonita, chicas bonitas, okay, and so on. But here we have a structure. I need you to pay attention to this when the speaker is giving you the explanation, okay? Porque eh, esto es lo que vamos a trabajar en este momento. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn placement of adjectives, particularly you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe plus job plus verb to be plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case a then we have profession plus apostrophe s which expresses possessive plus job after that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, a. Then we have profession plus apostrophe s, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. 
we can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article A. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A. Then we will add the adjective. And finally, we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now, I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. Okay, let's repeat these adjectives, okay? Repeat after me, please. Boring. Boring. Easy. 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 Dangerous. 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 Exciting. 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 Difficult. 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 Stressful. 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 Very well. Now let's continue. So, Using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways. Using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, class, we're going to go over this structure and remember, if it is possible that you open the platform and you write them at the moment, okay? And you click over here, añade una publicación, and you write them. Because if you write them in the notebook, you forget to write them, okay? So here we go, and we're going to, let me see. Okay. We're going to write, okay. Let's do it as a brainstorm. In the first example, probably, I'm going to illustrate something for you. And then maybe, A musician's job is. What do you think the uh, musician's job is? Exciting, easy, uh, nice, stressful, interesting, boring. ¿Cómo creen que es el empleo de un músico? A musician's job is. Hello. No. Uh -huh. Tell me, how do you think uh, musicians Excitante. is Exciting. exciting emocional? Exciting. Sí. exciting. Okay. And then this is one way. The other way is a musician has a an exciting. Porque comienza con sonido de vocal, ¿verdad? La siguiente palabra. Sí. An exciting job yes I do. Yes. now someone else give me another job professional occupation no de lo que mencionó el presenter verdad el presentador um, a bus driver for example a bus driver 
que bus driver's job is, ¿cómo será ser, qué sentirá ser conductor de, de bus? Estresante. Estresful. Estresful. <laughs> yes, stressful. Stressful. Estresante, pobrecito. Yeah. So now let's write this job in another way. Dictate it for me. A bus driver, yeah, a bus driver has a teacher y ha tirado algo que aquí me sale cargando, cargando y no se termina de cargar. Una cargar el, mi pantalla, pero mi pantalla la pueden ver los demás porque aquí me dice you are screen sharing. Los demás miran mi pantalla. Yo sí la veo yes. amarito pero no la veo completa porque me sale un cuadrito y me dice cargando, como que si usted hubiera mandado alguna presentación, no. No, no he enviado nada. No, pues a ver. Usted, usted que... no habrá abierto la... la, ya, la... ya lo cerré, el chat, no, ya lo cerré. Pero permítame, como yo les dije que abrieran la plataforma, ah, porque... quizás la plataforma le estaba abriendo. Sí, pues no me terminé de cargar. Yo la cerré. Ajá, porque les pedí que eh, abrieran la plataforma y que en el espacio que estamos viendo de una vez escribieran porque si no se les olvida ok, quizás eso fue ok, let's continue tell me another job, professional occupation ok, otra, otra uh, let me see A pilot, maybe. What do you think? A pilot's job is. How do you think a pilot job is? Being a pilot is. Peligroso porque dangerous. dangerous. Yes, dangerous. dangerous. And also because of you know, people trying to to damage terrorism or something like that. Yes, it's dangerous. A pilot's job is dangerous. So the other way to say it, la otra forma de decirlo sería, ¿cómo sería? A pilot has yes. a dangerous. A dangerous, a dangerous. Job. job. And both ways are correct. Y las dos formas están correctas, ¿sí? Okay. okay. Next one, another one. Um, let me see. Okay, you tell me any other professional occupation. In the security guard. Security guard. A security guard. Ah, a security guard's job is como será ser security guard. Igual danger, peligroso. Sí, pero usemos otro adjetivo porque ya stressful y dangerous is Boring. Difficult. Es aburrido. Difficult. Ok, difficult, sí, porque pobrecitos pasan parados. Es difficult. Yes. Okay. Y también aburrido es. And then, tell me, a security guard had. Ok. A difficult. Difficult job. 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 La vamos a poner a hacer plan a mí. Job, <laughs> ok. A security guard has a difficult job. Job. Cuando pronunciamos job, imaginémonos que la O suena como una A suavecita. Job, ok. Job. This, a security guard has a difficult job. One more time. Uh, another example, the last one. Otro ejemplo más. A doctor. No porque es el ejemplo que nos da el libro. Ah. Uh, Lawyer. 
también nos da, él nos dio un ejemplo en el, en el video. A teacher. A teacher. Nos vamos a imaginar una teacher de primaria. A mm. teachers. <laughs> a teachers. Uh, job is. Mm, another adjective. Forget about exciting, stressful, Cansado. dangerous, tiring. Okay. Tiring. Cansado. Yeah. So a teacher's job is tiring. A teacher has a tiring job. A tiring job. Yeah. And the job, yes. A yeah. teacher's job is tiring. A teacher has a tiring job. Mm -hmm. A tiring job. And that's enough, I think. Four, four examples. Okay, you tell me when we can continue, okay? Don't forget to write them in the discussion box. Don't forget to tell me when you finish writing these sentences, okay? So we can continue. No se olviden avisarme cuando terminen de escribir las oraciones para que continuemos.
Finish, teacher. Okay, excellent. One more minute for the rest of the class, okay? okay. Don't forget to share it. No se olviden de compartirlo ahí en la discussion box. Okay, people, now let's continue because we need to practice as much as possible, okay? Okay. If uh, you are still missing one sentence to write, take a screenshot. Si les hace falta todavía alguna oracióncita que escribir, tomen el screenshot and later you finish writing them, okay? So let's continue. Over here. Here is part of what you have to do, okay? The knowledge check. You write each sentence in a different way. Follow the example. No period at the end of your sentence needed. Acá no necesitan escribir punto final para su oración porque ya tiene el punto, ¿de acuerdo? Pero acá les explica, mire, no se necesita punto final porque ya se lo dan a ustedes. Solo escriben esta oración de una forma diferente. Ejemplo, a doctor's job is interesting. A doctor has an interesting job. Por eso les decía el doctor no porque es el clásico, ¿verdad? Then here, by the end of this class, you will develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. This is job profiles. Los perfiles de un empleo. Let's listen and pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading. Job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Mm -hmm. In here, 
todavía no hay información, ¿ok? But it doesn't tell you, ¿ok? What to do. So we continue with our manual. By now, what is the manual? Over here. In this class, we have here a musician's job is interesting. A musician has an interesting job. An athlete's job is exciting. A lawyer's job is stressful. A security guard has a boring job. A, photo, a photographer has a difficult job. A police officer has a dangerous job, yeah? So we have to write these sentences in a different way from number two, three, four, and five, and six. Two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Let's do it. You have to say it. Say it, please. An athlete's job is exciting. Tell me this sentence in another way. Díganme esta oración de otra forma. An athlete's job is exciting. An athlete has an exciting job. Yes? Now, a lawyer's job is I'm stressful. Díganme la otra forma de decir esta oración. Number three. Um, another, another helps. Uh, at, um, a stressful? Another, a stressful, a stressful job. A stressful yeah. job. Okay, yes, a stressful job. So we say, an athlete's job is exciting. And then we say, an athlete, yeah, an athlete has an exciting job. Yes or no? And yeah. then what about uh, a lawyer's job? You already told me. A lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has we. What happened here? I better continue writing here, okay? Then we say a lawyer has a stressful job. Yes? Yes. What about a security guard has a boring job? Tell me the other way to say it. A uh, security guard has a uh, Has a, a no, porque aquí nos está dando no. con has, entonces lo tenemos que escribir de la otra forma. A security guard's job is boring. Yes. Boring. Tenemos que fijarnos la estructura yes. que nos da. Ok, because in the other one we have uh, a photographer has a difficult job. So, a photographer a photographer job a photographer's job is yes. difficult. difficult yeah and the last one a police officer has a dangerous job we say the other way um, a police officer job Officer's job, job. Yeah. is dangerous. dangerous. Very well. Dangerous. It's dangerous. Excellent. Dangerous. It's yeah. dangerous. Okay, over here, so you can see it better. An athlete has an exciting job. A lawyer has a stressful job. In America, only with one end. A security guard guard's job is boring. A photographer's job is difficult. A police officer's job is dangerous, yes? Now, you think of one of these jobs and you write them. I'm going to put it maybe over here, yeah. 
think of one of, of one job for each adjective. Do you do your classmates agree? And then we say boring. Uh, well, in their opinion, because all the opinions are different and are respectful too. Todas las opiniones son diferentes y son respetables también. En este caso, ustedes van a pensar, se les está dando los adjetivos y ustedes van a escribir un trabajo, profesión u ocupación que a su criterio personal sea easy, fácil, dangerous, exciting, difficult, or stressful. For example, boring, mm, musician. Para esta persona, ser músico es aburrido. Now, easy. Mm, let's see an easy job. An easy job, maybe. <laughs> In my opinion, politician. Ser un político es fácil. Politician. <laughs> yes or no. Everywhere in the world. Porque tienen asesores para todo. No hacen trabajo ellos. Okay, pero ahí es cada quien con su opinión, ¿verdad? Dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. Mm, let me see. Exciting, maybe. Hey. Singer. Yeah, sí. in my opinion, singer exciting. Mm. Un pilot. Ah, yes. Singer. Pilot. Also exciting, right? And now dangerous. Oh. Police officer. Uh, maybe fire fighter, yes, um, uh, fire, fire. pilot, mm, another one, driver, conductor también, yeah, it depends, but you do it, okay, you write them, and then you tell them, y luego van a compartir acá con los compañeros en su opinión cuál eh, trabajo es exciting, difficult, stressful, dangerous, easy, and boring. Finished. Okay, let's see. Difficult job. What is a difficult job for you, class? Hello. Teacher. Security. Uh, security okay. girl. Teacher, excuse me. What did you say, sir? A security girl. Ah, security. Security guard. Is there another one? Otro? Difficult job. Mm, there are many difficult jobs. Yes. Office police. Police officer. Yes. Yes, police officer. And others, yeah? Y otros muchos más. Now, stressful. Algo driver. que... Driver, yes. Driver, mm, what is the other one? Driver, um, nurse, 
Excuse me. Lord. Lawyer. Nurse. Ah, nurse. Okay, thank you. Nurse. Athlete. Yes. Athlete. Sí, los atletas están bien presionados siempre. Sí. Uh -huh. Athlete. Another one. Stressful. Teacher, um, contador, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Accountant. Accountant. Yes, accountant. Ah, call center agent. Yes or no? Call yes. center agent. Yeah, that is stressful. Very, very stressful. Call center agent. And then you have it in there, yeah? And there are many others, okay? Easy politician, another one that is easy, maybe. Fácil de hacer, pero el salario, no estamos hablando de salario, ¿verdad? Maybe um, painter. Pintores, pero de arte, no de pintar casa. Painter. Um, okay. Shall we move to the next activity? Sí, podemos movernos a la otra actividad o not yet. Yes. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Workday routines. Ask three classmates about their jobs or their friends, family members' jobs. Then tell the class. Ask about a classmate. Do you have a job? Yes, I do. Where do you work? Y aquí todos trabajan en la misma compañía, ¿verdad? Yes. What do you do exactly? ¿Qué es lo que exactamente hace? Pero todos están en el mismo, en la misma área, en el mismo departamento. No, teacher. No. 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 Ah, ok. No. So you can go over. What do you do exactly? ¿Qué es lo que haces exactamente? In your job, is your job interesting? ¿Es tu trabajo interesante? Porque probablemente, como yo estoy en un área determinada, lo que es interesante para mí no es interesante para la otra persona, como todo es relativo, ¿sí? And then, uh, when do you finish work? ¿A qué hora terminas de trabajar? Do you like uh, your job? ¿Te gusta tu trabajo? What do you do after work? ¿Qué haces después de trabajar? No me digan que ya yo sé. Sleep. Dormir. <laughs> Sleep. Ok. And then, tell, miren, otra forma de decir estas, estas mismas preguntas. De, tell me about your job. Ok. Where do you work? Y así sucesivamente. Entonces, vamos a hacer esta que está acá nada más la que leímos, ¿verdad? Uh, do you have a job? Yes, I do. Where do you work? Y dice el nombre de la compañía. What do you do exactly? Y describe lo que hace. ¿Qué es lo que hace? Tus tareas en el trabajo. Is your job interesting? Yes, it is or no, it isn't. En su opinión, si su empleo, su trabajo es interesante o no. What time do you start work? ¿A qué hora comienzas a trabajar? What time do you finish work? ¿A qué hora terminas de trabajar? Do you like your job? Uh, what do you do after work? ¿Qué hace después del trabajo a page 54? Is that okay? Tienen okay. esta imagen. ¿Sí? ¿Tienen el manual a la par? ¿Lo tienen enfrente? No. Ya le tomé captura. Ya le tomé captura. Ok. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, ok? Ask and answer the questions, please. Speaking activity, no writing, only speaking, no writing, only speaking, ok? Solo hablar, no a escribir. Go to your groups. I'm going to, let's see if I have this. I can share it with you. Okay. Here we go. Glenda, go to your group, please. ¿Me puede mandar otra vez la, la sí, invitación? Sí, este no me No. A la invitación. Para meterme al grupo. Para... Permítame, permítame en este momento que 
la imagen era lo que le dije, Glenda me dejó a Cristian solito, vaya, la voy a enviar a room number number one y luego vaya, vaya a ese grupo y luego la transfiero nuevamente a este equipo, ok Glenda le envié la, la ok Más o menos tiene ahí. Ajá. Le pregunto yo y después usted. Sí, va, démosle. Ya les compartí la imagen vía WhatsApp, ¿ok? Gracias, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Do you have a, a, a how? Do you have a job? Do you have a job? Do you have a job? Yes, I do. Work. Thanks, Brown. So, what do you do exactly? Uh, instruye, instructor, operat, finish, finish. Instruyo personal, operario para, para acabados. Crack. I am too fun. Okay, finishes. Uh, continue, continue, continue. Time, please. It's your job interesting. 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 Yes. It's your... <laughs> Dale. Sí, va. Eh, sí, What sí. time do you start to work? Seven. Eh, turno, turno de, de días. Seven o'clock. Turno de noches, sit o club. Bien. Okay. When do you finish work? Cuando finalizo el trabajo, güey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Y no es corriendo para el bus. <laughs> I'm running, I'm running out of the bus. <laughs> Sí, pero ¿a qué hora termina? ¿A qué hora sale corriendo? To the bus stop. What time do you go running to the bus stop? ¿A qué hora termina de trabajar? Eh, sí, sí, o clon, bien. Okay. Do you like your job? Eh, more yes. or less. Or more or less, más o menos. Yes, sí, me gusta, me gusta okay. mucho. Ok, ok. Ahora sí. What do you do after work? Eh, play, Ronnie. play, play soccer, my son. Uh -huh. Juega pelota, eh, fútbol con mi hijo. Esto. Finish. Ahora, finish. Ahora le pre pregunta, le pregunto o le pregunta a Emperatriz. Yo creo que ya está así va. Ya está, Emperatriz. Yes. 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 Ok. Vaya. Okay. Yo le pregunto. Ok. Oh, sí. A ver. Él eh... le va a preguntar a usted, Emperatriz. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yo le, yo le pregunto. Yo le pregunto. Vaya, ok. Do you have a J? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Where do you go? I I work a uh, hands brown. What do you exam in sampling? 
Uh, what do you exactly do? ¿Qué es lo que hace exactamente? What do you exactly do? Uh, atención al paciente. ¿Al paciente? Sí. ¿O al o sea, cliente? El paciente. Ah, tú de... Ok. Atend the emergency. Okay. I assist patients. Sí. Patients. Sí. I assist patients. Is your yeah, is your just interesting? Yes, I do. Yes, it is. What time do you yeah. study for? Um, journal seven a.m. When when do you finish finish golf? Six p.m. Yeah. Do you like to yeah, yeah? Yes, I do. What do you do after golf? I sleep. I I sleep. Dormir <laughs> <laughs> desde el bus. Yes. <laughs> okay. Entonces, usted le pregunta a Stanley. Okay. Okay, Stanley. Do you have a, a, a gap? A gap? A gap? Yes, I do. Where do you work? Hands run. What do you exactly? I see clean and repair machine. Is you hard interesting? Yes, but it's bad. bad. Boring. Uh, boring. Okay. No hay mucha actividad ahí. Claro que yeah. sí. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Y por, qué boring? ¿Y por qué boring? Ay, yo a veces me aburro de, de hacer lo mismo. Ah, oh, ok. <laughs> Se puede el día a día. Ok, but that is natural, mister. That happens to everybody. Le pasa a todo mundo, creo. Ok. Cuando es culpa tuya, ni culpa mía. El amor no es mía. Ok, continue. Yes. What did you start work? And start work at 7 a.m. or 6 p.m. Okay. When did you finish your work? I finished working um 7 a.m. or 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you did you like your home? Huh? Job. Job. Uh no. <laughs> no, I don't. Not really. No. Realmente no. Not really. Not okay. really. Not really. Oh. What, did you... Renunciar. <laughs> what did you do after work? I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. Okay. Tengo a jugar conmigo. Yes. <laughs> because you need to do it. You have to. Tiene que hacerlo. Porque si no, no lo deja dormir el niño. <laughs> okay, let's return to the main session room. Thank you for your participation. Okay. Okay. Let's wait for the other partners. Emperatriz and Glenda, the girls are still there. But they must be here in about 10 seconds. Glenda is here only. Emperatriz. Okay, class, listen, I need you to finish your work. 
necesito que terminen su trabajo en la plataforma quienes no lo han terminado. Te lo estoy diciendo en español para que después no haya confusión. Okay, okay. Ya terminado todas las tareas, secciones 1, 2, 3, 4 y 5, ¿sí? Y tienen que haber terminado también las secciones, el midterm test y el semifinal. final. ¿Por qué? Porque el próximo lunes es nuestra clase final, ¿de acuerdo? El lunes 10 de julio. Sí. Entonces, para esa fecha ya todo tiene que estar terminado porque ese día medianoche, si es posible, antes termínenlo, la, ¿qué le digo? La, la administración va a hacer el corte y va a enviar su, su reporte, ¿verdad? A Insafor para que se les comience a tramitar el, el diploma. No sé si las personas que ya lo terminaron al 100% ya pueden descargar su diploma. ¿Ya lo descargaron? ¿O no? no. ¿Todavía no está listo? No, no, no parece, todavía, todavía no. Ah, ya ven. Entonces, yo creo que de acá al fin de semana ya les va a poder aparecer. Entonces, están pendientes ahí que ya lo terminaron. Como dice Glenda, no le escucho, no, no logro descifrar ese lenguaje. Es it German, Italian, Russian. Al Dios no le dio sabiduría. Es alemán, italiano, ruso, ese idioma. Entonces, les pido de favor que completen eso y nos vemos el día lunes, ¿verdad? El día lunes 10 de julio a las 3 de la tarde en punto, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. okay Thank you very much. Okay. You did a great job. Thank you for joining. Relax and enjoy. Ah, si sí van a tener tiempo el próximo viernes de terminarme todo en la plataforma, porque es día de asueto. Sí. Ok. Bye yeah. bye. Yeah. Have a bye. great week. Thank bye, you, teacher. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. See you next week. Next Monday. Yes.